could die. I just want everyone to know before we start, that most of what you will say is wrong. Yeah, I hear that a lot. So what did you want to discuss today? Well, I thought we might try to have a civil conversation, perhaps the environment, since we are not complete opposites there. Oh alright, but that doesn't sound like much fun. What is with the mask? Anyway. Oh. This old thing. It is just something I had lying around. I like to show my empathy for the plight of wildlife. The bamboo on my chest is symbolic of the bamboo nappies that Beanie wears, and it is in the form of an X. For her name. What are nappies? Nappies are diapers. Why don't you just say diapers then? I am Australian. We never say anything normal. Why not? I don't know, I don't make the rules, I think it is in the Australian Constitution. Perhaps we talk this way, so that you will know we are Australian. Oh, that makes sense. But what are these rules? Exactly. They are very simple really. 1. Never call anything by its proper name. 2. No noun is allowed to be more than two syllables, nor less than two syllables. 3. All nouns must end with a Y or an IE. 4. Never pronounce an R, unless it is the first letter of a word, syllable or immediately in front of a vowel. 5. Always pronounce an R, that is not even in a word. 6. Do not use the first five rules in words or sentences, where they do not apply. Okay, I see how nappies is not using the normal word and it ends in IE. But how does the word diaper evolve to the word nappy? Is it because babies wear them while napping? Don't be ridiculous. It is short for napkin, obviously. Wait, you use napkins for diapers? We use them for dining. You Australians are an odd lot. What do you mean we are an odd lot? What about you Americans? At least we do not eat with diapers. Okay, fair enough. I want to go back to something you said. You said Beanie wears bamboo nappies. Aren't you worried about the splinters? Splinters are a small price for Beanie to pay, to be a good world citizen. I have heard that you Aussies ride on kangaroos to work. Is this true? No, that is preposterous. We don't ride on kangaroos, where would you get such a notion? Obviously, we ride in kangaroos, not on them. Why do you do that? The government lets us use the carpool lanes. You asked about my clothing, what about your outfit? Men don't wear outfits. My regular Omega Men suit is in our high efficiency washing machine with environmentally friendly detergent. I have this telephone on my suit so I can identify with all of the telecommuters trying to save our planet. And we are on this public transportation so we can show the others how they can help. Oh come on, you are no environmentalist. No I am not. I am a capitalist, who believes that capitalism, generates wealth, and wealth holds the solution to many problems we face. I save water, because it saves money, and you get a lot of loads of laundry with very little soap and a high efficiency washer, saving money and the environment at the same time. Um, how do you do your laundry? We do our laundry in the loosely, like all normal people. What is a loo? You ignorant Mary Cans, I forgot, all you rednecks have outhouses. A loo is a toilet. You wash your clothes in a toilet? No, not usually, we wash our clothes in the same room that our toilet is in. It is very good on resources, because the plumbing is already in the loo anyway, and since one doesn't spend a lot of time in the loo, it makes efficient use of space. You have a good point. Why didn't I think of that? Maybe in my next house, I can combine the kitchen and the garage, in fact, why not put the kitchen in the car, and forget about the kitchen and the garage altogether. That way, I can't prepare breakfast, on my way to work, if I ever get a job. Yeah, how is that capitalism working out for you? Cheer up might, God will provide, and the good folks at Worthy Chat can pray for you. Thank you Andy, let's go there now. I have had enough of trying out this movie stuff. Chatting is much easier. That sounds good to me, see you there.